And we also have the Twitterverse coming up. Uh, we're going to do some World Cup comparisons. Is Aaron Rodgers Ronaldo? That's too easy, right? And, and who is my poor sweet Poland? Are they doing anything? Did the goalie get hurt? What did I miss? Who got hurt? Who was hurt? Yeah, what happened? All right, over the weekend, Karim Benzema on the defending World Cup winning French national team was ruled out of the entire tournament. He had a thigh injury. It was really sad. And one of my dear followers said, hey, uh, I need help with this in NFL terms. What is it? So I went to my dad and I asked and I said, I got you. I said, this would be like if the Chiefs, hello, losing Kelsey, lost Kelsey, and they still had Tyreek Hill, uh, who I mean, Tyreek Hill's kind of the Mbappe of it all. So it's all true, and I got lots of love for that. So here we go with some more uh, NFL World Cup comps. I'm sitting there at Manhattan Beach with my father, bothering him as he's trying to enjoy a sunset. Like, but Dad, but like, what really is Messi? And like, is Ronaldo more like Aaron Rodgers, or is Ronaldo more like, and he's just like, leave me alone. But Hamilton, you're having quite a day here, and you're a bit mad about my stats interview. Yeah, I mean, he drops an absolute bombshell that he thinks the Niners are going to pursue Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers and you're you completely ignored him and are talking about Poland and Mexico so oh Mexico almost scored no acknowledgement of I, the Niners pursuing Rodgers and Brady I kind of didn't hear him I'm not as good at my job as I thought that I was and then there's like the, this isn't working that's not working everyone's running around the studio everyone's running amok uh, I didn't hear that, but what do you, he, the, the Brady, it's back to his, back to San Mateo, it's all very cute, and then you bring Edelman from San Mateo, and they all, I don't, I don't buy it, I don't buy it, the Aaron Rodgers thing, you think Shanahan is going to go for, no, it's not how, I don't, I don't believe in any of this, but I like that it's all on the table, it's quite dramatic. Yeah, and I like that I wore my green for Team Mexico today <laughs> after all this. So. You're such it's all a jerk. Working out. Okay, let's do it. Let's do some of these uh, these comparisons. And we have some great tweets. Thanks everybody for tweeting in and up at Adam Show. They're awesome. All right, so um, we're gonna start it off. You've been talking a lot about Lewandowski for, the, yes. for this parlay. Who is the Robert Lewandowski of the NFL world? Okay, I'm gonna say, and I've done a lot of thoughts about this because. He is Robert Lewandowski, who I need to score for my parlay. It's very like Messi. You saw Messi this morning. Like great players, prolific players, great supporting cast that put them and orchestrate everything so they're the star and they score goals. That's just what it is. So, but but when it comes to playing for their national team, you got to bring everybody mm. up. You're the only focal point. It's not built that way, and, the, and it never works out. And that's kind of what Lewandowski is. So he's among the best, arguably the best at his position. He was a Bayern guy. He left to find happiness in Barcelona. He scores hella goals. He was robbed of the Ballon d'Or, in my opinion. In the NFL, to me, he is Devontae Adams. And Poland are the Raiders. Devontae, yeah. Devontae is elite, top tier. But he's kind of the only show in town for his squad. Everyone heard, everyone in experience on the Raiders, and Devontae is the guy. Uh, okay, I don't love this. What's happening? Okay, here it is. Look, look at these two. Yeah, lots of similarities here. So, uh, over the, well, here's the crazy stat that you and I found. Oh, as my mic pack just falls. This is just a sh complete show today. Um, speaking of show, he's the only show in town, and he's the only show in time. And this one, we found a crazy number. Over the last three games, he's averaging over 15 targets a game. What a vacuum. That's unbelievable. 138 <laughs> yards per game. Let's talk about it. With all the movement, it's driving me crazy. And he's this guy right here, Devonta Adams, has scored five touchdowns, okay? That's Lewandowski on Poland. So we're watching the game here, uh, and he's the sole draw of defenders. It's pretty much all him. There's no one else to take the pressure off. This is a tough group, by the way. You saw what Saudi Arabia did this morning. Chester called it. You have the Messi, uh, who's the Messi, who's the Mahomes of the whole thing, and Mexico, which is happening right now. So this is the AFC West of groups. It is tough sledding. Neither, by the way, have won a, uh, a world title or championship for their squad on the world's biggest stage. So it is all on them, Hammer. What's the confidence level that Lewandowski actually gets that goal today for you? I'm in the car with my dad, and I go, Dad, what are the chances? I'm going to do this parley. Oh, see, so he's doing this. He's like, I don't yeah. Uh, he's never done it, and Mexico's really good. And they're good defensively. And so I I don't think it happens, but I've never done well on a parlay. So part of me thinks that it'll happen because I don't I'm not confident in it at all. So I'm trying something new. Yeah, you're due. You're definitely due. Um and <laughs> God, am I due. 
We'll keep it moving here. Um, how about the Bills? Even my cup is Mexico <laughs> colors. Wow. There what you go. is happening? Reverse the whole world's against you. Yeah, as usual. Um, yeah, you, it could be like a reverse jinx in, in some way, though. But really um, quick, really you quick. Know, you brought a lot of bad luck to teams, be, so maybe we, having their colors. Yeah, before we move on, though, the Devontae Adams thing is wild. Oh, yeah. No, the way that he's playing right now, and it's kind of gotten lost because the Raiders are so far out of it, but uh, he's just taking the team on his back right now. I mean, that game-winning touchdown overtime against the Broncos, he just he willed that team to a win, and it's pretty awesome to see. Yeah, what else we got? Uh, all right, how about the Bills? A, t- a team with a lot of talent. They're kind of a trendy pick to go all the way, even though they haven't done it yet. Who would be the Bills comp in the World Cup world? I'm going to say, and I, I played with Belgium for a long time because, I, th- you know, my dad, he goes, watch out for Belgium, that'll be good. So <laughs> there's that. But I think ultimately we came to the, to the Netherlands as the team because they are a loaded squad, and there's, you know, always – a super strong performance, but they always come up short at the end. It's like the Bills when it comes to making and winning a Super Bowl. Uh, So there's a lot of comparisons to be made there uh, as we look at some of this. But, you know, they've got a lot of top five love. Netherlands and everybody's top five. The Bills, they're obviously the favorite um, to win win it all. So there's, you know, kind of all of that going on. Um, Ultimately, I'm looking at some of the numbers. The Netherlands are great comparisons. They made it to the finals and lost to Spain in 2010. Third Third place in Brazil, their second place team. That's what they are. They've been to the finals three times, and it's never worked out, Hammy. Yeah, and I'm sure uh, Bills fans are going to find a way to make this comparison a slight against them. So that'll be fun uh, for I you on Twitter. Say, that'll huh? be great. I think that they, um, I think that they feel. <laughs> but I, you know what I thought about that? And I go, if I compare them to Belgium, they'll be more mad for some reason than the Netherlands. That's true, because you point to the Netherlands. You're right. They've had a lot of success. Yeah. They've had a lot of winning teams. Yeah. They've, you know. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. It, it, I think it's a I think it's a great comparison. I love that one. That's that's my, Viva my favorite. Viva Mexico. So far. All right, I gotta switch home sitting. I hate <laughs> this shot. I hate everything right now. Go ahead. All right. You know I have to bring this guy up. Tell me. Who is the Aaron Rodgers of this World Cup? It's you know, and I, I hate doing like the trite low-hanging fruit, even though that's exactly what this segment is. But I want to do something a little different, but I can't because it is Ronaldo. It just is. Get over it, people. Ronaldo, both, it's just too, it's too much sense. There's some differences, but listen, they're both all-time greats, prolific, both in the best ever convo. But here we are, people, at the back nine, and it's, you know, not how anyone wants to see it go down. There's drama on both sides. And, you know, you look at the, the, the wins. Ronaldo's won a lot. Ronaldo has 32 trophies in his career. Five Ballon d'Ors in his career. That's the same thing as an MVP, kind of. You know, Rodgers has four. He had two in a row. Now, Ronaldo's never won a World Cup, right? Their best finish with fourth play, with, was fourth place. He did win a UEFA championship, though, Uh Look at those two. And that was back in 2016. They beat France. And that kind of equals out, right? That's like their one Super Bowl apiece. They have that in common. But there's so much to prove. Like These two should have so many wins for their respective national teams or the teams that they sort of like, you know, uh, were drafted to. That would be what Aaron Rodgers makes of Green Bay. So Ronaldo, you know, he's like a, he's got a Ph.D. in histrionics. He's off the bench for Man U right now. He's leaving the pitch. He's mad. He wants to play. He can't. He doesn't have it anymore. And it's not going so hot for Aaron either. You know, those Packers are sitting there at four and seven. They've got the Eagles in Philly this week. It's probably a wrap, honestly, for this Packers squad. Uh, the difference there, I do think, like, I think he's cooked, Ronaldo. He's, you know, physically doesn't have it anymore. Prolific, amazing career. People are saying Aaron doesn't have it. You take away, you give him a, a bit of a better, more experienced supporting cast that's come into their own. You get rid of that thumb injury. I don't think Aaron's lost a beat. I really don't. I agree, and and you brought it up, too. I think the thumb injury is is bothering him yeah. a little bit more than he's letting on, and that's one thing he hasn't made an excuse about, but I, I think you see it sometimes. It's it, it, He seems to really be... Uh, favoring it it seems to be it seems to be affecting him uh but i'm a little surprised he didn't go messy here i feel like losing to saudi arabia in the first game <laughs> is kind of like losing to the niners at lambeau field in the snow yeah as a one seed but messy is like a. <laughs> you're trying to get me to say something bad about aaron Rodgers, and i'm gonna I'm take not. i'm gonna take the bait uh the uh, the antics are the difference i think messy is okay. a very 
you know, undersized, more humble sort of player than Aaron Rodgers. And the, the drama doesn't surround him and follow him like it does a Ronaldo and a Rodgers. Fine, I said it. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. So Messi's like a Darren Sproles, I guess we'll say. No, boy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of, sure, yeah. All right. Go ahead. All right, last one. I was watching Team USA yesterday. Very frustrating game, but... It, it, it's a fun team to watch. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of new players, yeah. a lot of names that we, we might not be used to yeah. on the, on this Team USA this year. So who would be the NFL comp to, to Team USA? I'm curious to see what Mark Ingram has to say about this. I know he's standing by ready to come on. We've got these cards here. And he was watching the game. He tweeted about it. But I'm like, you think about USA, and USA is young, very young. They're inexperienced. They're counted out. They're all heart. To me, USA is... Mike McDaniel, okay? New head coach, shiny, youthful. I mean, USA is full of guys under the age of 26. They have their unassuming leader in Pulis Pulisic. Um, you know, this is a guy who doesn't take shine. Instead, he sets up his teammates to crush it. We saw it yesterday against Wales Hamilton, the goal assist of Pulisic, of Timothy, Timothy Way. I mean, that is two at a Tyreek Hill if I've ever seen it out there. So I feel also strongly that Ted Lasso would root for and write billboards for Mike McDaniel of all coaches. So the USA is, in fact, Mike McD. I mean, I love this choice. He's one of my favorite personalities yes. in the NFL right now. And and I also, I, I like the comparison because he kind of came out of nowhere for a lot of people this past year. And I feel like with this Team yeah. USA, it's it's similar. Like, we, we, you don't really have as many of the household names that we grew up with, um, like an Alexi Lawless, that type of a guy uh, on this team. So I, I like it. I like it. Do we have, any t we have some really good tweets? I know you went through and picked out some of your faves. What do we got? All right, let's hit the first one. Go Brazil or the Cowboys, storied franchise that that hasn't won in 20 plus years with some embarrassing playoff and knockout losses since. A good mix of young talent and veterans and a favorite to win it all this year. I can't argue. They better win it all, especially with Tony Pollard doing what he's doing. Let's just run through the tweets. We'll talk under them. We don't have to come on cam. Let's bang them out and go. All right, here's the next one. The Bears are England. Fans travel really well. Yep. They act like their team invented the sport, and they keep talking about that one win many decades ago, but they haven't been relevant for way too long. That's kind of that's kind of harsh. It's kind of harsh. There were a lot of comparisons to England and Jets fans as well being sort of wild. Here's one from C. Tawali. OBJ is Neymar. This is a comparison that uh, an, another trite one, but it makes sense. Generational talents divisive. I don't know if they're divisive. Who aren't in their prime anymore. Both burst on the scene Ooh. and show glimpses of brilliance. Still, OBJ got his ring. Can Neymar get his medal? I mean, Brazil very heavily favored in this tourney. And then what do you got here, Hammy? Italy equals the Steelers. Multiple championships, strong defense, Ooh. many all-time great players, storied history, but not winning a championship this year. I can't believe Italy didn't make it. Uh, Italy didn't make it, so Italy is, I mean, Italy is kind of like the Rams, huh? Yeah, I, I, that's a good one, too. I, I, I think I like that even better than the Steelers. <laughs> my, my red carding? I mean, honestly, a team, Italy always in the mix. Don't even qualify for the world. That doesn't happen. That does not happen. So uh, kind of like the Rams having a historic Super Bowl hangover upset. Sean Payton said on the Fox set that it's one where you're in bed till the afternoon. What does Sean Payton know about staying in bed uh, till the afternoon after a hangover? I bet Mark Ingram has answers for me next. <laughs> 